And hello, fellow survivors. Welcome back to the Cataclysm. My name is Vormithrax, and we are continuing, uh, hopefully, finishing our Shoggoth Shank challenge today. Uh, it's a continuation of a challenge we've been doing for a week or so now. Uh, two weeks, actually, I think. Um, so, in the Shoggoth Shank challenge, I'm playing as a bionic assassin uh, charged with killing a Shoggoth in melee combat. So. We've had some ups and downs, but for the most part, the uh, series has been going fairly well. Um, we're well, well advanced into the late stages of the game at this point. Um, we got there pretty quickly, all things considered. So here's where we're sitting currently. Let me bring the character sheet up first, though. Here's the Bionic Assassin. Uh, you can kind of get an idea of what we're dealing with now. Stat-wise, nothing too major. Um, I'm not playing with stats through skills or anything, so we've got a couple of enhancements through some Bionics, but otherwise, nothing too impressive there. Uh, our skill list, though, is pretty far advanced. Not too much left for me to do there that would be useful. Um, maybe another level or two of tailoring, but even at that, I'm not sure I'm going to make much use out of it. Um, and also cooking can possibly get another level or two if I have to resort to mutations to try to take on the Shoggoth. So, we'll see. Um, one thing to note, I do have nicotine withdrawal, so I'm going to hold off on doing my current round, or... Uh, current batch of CBMs until we clear up the nicotine withdrawal. Uh, I went pretty hard and heavy with some CBM installations. You can see the list there has gotten fair dinkum long uh, with some pretty major ones. Time dilation, olfactory mask, memory banks, titanium skeleton bracings, cerebral boosters, the old leukocyte breeder, uh, just tons and tons of stuff. So some of them very, very high end. And the only thing I'm really not happy with is my bionic power. We're stuck at 750. I did just, at the end of last episode, come out of this lab with two more power storage CBMs. So right there, two more of the Mark IIs. Um, so that's another 500 power. That gets me up to 1250. But I'd like at least three more of those, get me to 2000, and as far much far higher as I can get. Um, some of the CBMs we've got are going to burn a lot of power, especially that time dilation if I want to try that out on the uh, Shoggoth. Um, power armor interface, of course, would be great. We're also on the lookout for a power armor helmet. I've got the heavy power armor and the standard power armor suits, but I don't have a helmet for either one yet. Uh, internal climate control would be good, and the blood filter would be good as well. So, uh, actually, if we got the blood filter installed, then I wouldn't have to worry about the, uh, withdrawal symptoms. I could just purge myself after each run. Hmm, I might go actually test to see... Uh, if I can, what the chances are to get this blood filter installed. I think I'll, I'll go ahead and wait, though. We'll, we'll wait on that. So, yeah, like I said, that list is getting pretty long. That's, uh, that's a pretty impressive list of CBMs. And, uh, nowhere near the full set. There's tons, tons more. But we've got some of the really, really major ones there. And the passive list is looking pretty good, too. Digestive system, plating, uh, the boosters, telescopic eyes, all that good stuff. So... We're doing good there. Uh, let me go ahead and dump off these CBMs and the anesthetic kit. All right. Got a few things I need to do real quick, and then we will uh, get moving. Uh, just notice we are also tired, so I probably ought to sleep for the night before we take off. We're going to be leaving this lab seven levels deep. First lab I've ever seen that's been seven levels deep. I don't ever remember one being longer than six before. So this particular lab went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven levels um, before we finally hit the bottom and got to the, uh, the finale or treasure room. So unfortunately, it was just a tank and mutagen, so it really didn't help me much. But we got the whole place pretty much done. Uh, no labs connecting it. There's no railroad connecting this side. I do have an ice lab just north of me, but I'm going to hold off on doing that. We're going to go s explore the world a bit. So we're going to run over to the west, try to hit this bank right here. And then I noticed there's another bank right there in Wound, wound Socket, right there, little town. So we're going to try to hit those two banks and do a little bit of driving around. We'll check what's at the end of these various endpoint locations. I'm mainly looking for banks and helicopter crash sites. Helicopter crash sites, the larger helicopters have a good chance of having uh, bio-operators so I can get my power upgrades. And then the uh, banks, of course, for the power armor helmet. So, uh, Retractable blade claws? You mean like the thing I've been using this entire run? The monomolecular blade? 
Now, whether it ties to various martial arts is a little fuzzier. A lot of the martial arts don't specify weapons because they work with all martial arts. Uh, just like ninjutsu, which is the most the main one I'm using, it gets the benefit from every uh, weapon type. So you're not going to find a martial art sometimes that says specifically that the mono blade works for it. But some of the martial arts are just blanket. Yeah, there may be a few tied. I don't know all the combinations. Things are hard to keep track of, and the online information's wrong a lot of times. Um, there's also the added wrinkle that uh, there's a CQB, CBM, that has bionic combatives. Modern combat style for postmodern human bionic combatives combines integrated weaponry, armor, and augments into a consolidated fighting discipline. I don't know a lot about this, but it's really, really effective. Uh, I think it basically turns you into a bio-operator. I think that's what they use. So, you get to take down and all the other fancy stuff. But, uh, I worry about it getting into these counter, uh, dodge loops. But, uh, we'll see. We've used it when we go up against the nastier things. We have groups that we have to fight. So... So, yeah, that's the one that I'm assuming. I just don't use it often because it does, uh, burn up power at a fair dinkum rate. So... All right, let's get some maintenance done. Uh, but that's our map, so we're going to just kind of explore around the world here for a little bit. I can't remember. Do I have another map? Where's my books? Uh, guess not. All right, so I don't have any other maps laying around. We've got a boatload of serums. I've never seen this many serums that I've collected in one place before. Mouse serum. <laughs> we've got pretty much, well, not every type. There's quite a few we don't have of the really high-end ones. But uh, we got quite a bunch of serums. And we've got ten purifier serums and nine regular purifiers. So I could mutate and purge myself pretty easily. So I'm probably going to end up doing this. We'll pick a few and uh, we'll have some fun with it. But we're going to try before. First attempt at the Shoggoth without mutating, and then uh, that'll be my backup plan. Okay, so... Golden Slaked, Tired... Am I done with my inventory? We've got the Battle Rifle, the Blade... I'm rocking my Roller Blades currently. Let's swap out the Roller Blades. Alright, there's what I want. All right, so we got our boots instead of our blades. Keeping all of this. I uh, should probably dump some of this medicine I'm packing around for no apparent reason. Alright, what are we down to? 12 volume, 99 pounds. That's fine. Now we can dump that extra backpack. I keep forgetting I'm lugging around. What are we up to? Uh, 53 total. That's fine. Chainmail, survivor suit, and rucksack. We hit just fine with 53 torso encumbrance. We got 35 on our arms, which is also a bit much. But again, that's because the super protection makes us basically immune to all the standard zombies with that much protection value, so... Alright, the inventory's good. What else was I gonna do? I'm happy with my assault rifle. Things I'm still looking for... I need the RivTech design binder so I can make my atomic lamp so I can stop being annoyed about my lighting situation. I need a HackPro software so I can make the control laptop. Um, those two things are fairly major. They'd be nice to find. It's the only two major things I can think of beyond the helmet and the power storage. Uh, we've got the main battle rifle now with 218 rounds in it. Plus, we pulled up the, uh, our RivTech light machine gun with another 250 rounds of my favorite ammo. I've got about 800 rounds of my favorite ammo now, the 8x40 caseless, uh, in weapons that I can use in various situations. So, we've got the flamethrowers, we've got... I think the only thing I don't have that I'd like on the RivTech line is the uh, 
scout rifle, the sniper rifle for the RivTech side. Um, so, we're doing good there. Like I said, ammo's no problem any longer. We've got our diamond-coated rising sun. That's a diamond-coated katana with a mini flamethrower attachment to light the blade up on fire. So that's the first thing we're going to try using against Mr. Shoggoth. Uh, all the t all the items. Oh yeah, I want to get rid of all this rotten stuff so I don't accidentally make pemmican out of rotten fruit again. All right, get rid of all of that. Okay, how is my food supply doing? 42 dehydrated. What is that? 2. 80. 300. Uh, 300 and some smoked meat, so 350 with the dehydrated. And if I go grab some fresh fruit, I can make some more pemmican. That'd take a while. Let's go ahead and sleep first. Uh, vehicle's all closed up. Let's just. Oops, what time is it? 10 a.m. I think what I was planning on doing, actually, I didn't want to sleep right now. I wanted to get some driving done during the daylight hours. So that's what we'll do. So catch up with chat. Say hi to everybody. Hey there, Raphael, Karacher, Frank, Fertile. Hey there, Angel Seeger. <laughs> You're watching on your phone. Yeah, I uh, do what I can for all the various resolutions. I can't control Twitch's transcoding my streams into uh, the various lower resolutions. They do it when they have bandwidth. It's all allocated based on how much uh, activity is going on on Twitch at the moment, and it's allocated to the bigger streams first. So only thing I can do to improve that situation is to grow the channel. So your guys' support is the only way that's going to happen. Trying to grow a channel covering a tiny little niche game like uh, Cataclysm is a little tough. So have mercy and make sure you subscribe and donate whenever you can. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, so, but yeah, I do other things like making sure my uh, fonts are larger. I've increased the font size to make it more clear, more clear on smaller screen sizes. So you guys can read this a little better. I also am pretty sure this uh, square font that I'm using for my map Takes a little getting used to at first, but I love it now. After a few days when I first put it up to adjust my brain to the uh, square font size, I think it's much, much more clear and uh, easier to read for everybody on the smaller screens, especially. All right. You do. Hey there, hold your fire. Welcome to the channel. Um, yeah, let's get moving. So nothing else I want to do here right now. Oh yeah, let's check our vehicle again. Everything in good shape? Anything to repair? Nothing to repair. I'm going to try really hard not to repeat what happened last, uh, what happened on Monday <laughs> with my poor vehicle. Oh, that was kind of embarrassing. That was a two-hour side trip I had to take to put things back together again. All right, let's get moving. We're going to do some driving. How much gas do I have? I've still got 120. All right, we're, we're good. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go back either, Sagacious. It just took a short bit for my brain to adjust to the change after it had trying the old style for so long, but I love it now. And I do think it really improves the viewing experience for uh, you guys, especially on phones and things like that. I just think it's much easier to read. All right, where are we going? Um, we got that town to the west. Hotel tower I'm not interested in. Landfills. I think what we'll do is we'll kind of drive through, we'll cut up north, check out these two points, and then if I can find a nice safe spot to park my vehicle, actually I may park back here and then just rollerblade in. We'll kind of see what we what we find over there. So, all right, everybody, cross your fingers for some uh, nice fat helicopters that we can kill some bio operators for. Driver zombie. Never did figure out why that turret chassis I couldn't get working. There's something about the combos of chassis and vehicle parts and weapons that wasn't matching up. Have you figured out how to scroll the map in chunks yet? Uh, 
Uh, you mean instead of doing this? <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean. All right, there's the tower. Maybe a new on the something from the new uh, updates. This one I'm running is getting a bit long in the tooth. It's definitely time for me to update, which I'm going to do once I finish this series out. Alright. Gun store. I can't think of a single reason to go into the gun stores anymore. Gun stores don't have the kinds of weapons I'm using now. I've got all the high-end stuff out of labs. And I don't need ammo or anything. don't need any of the tools, so... Not interested in the gun store. I, I'm just debating whether I want to drive down the middle of the street here. <laughs> hey there, Shocker Brute. Because I am still on the lookout for certain vehicles. Um, in particular, I just want... Uh, Street Sweepers for a decent chance at the uh, Hack Pro software. Alright. Oh, we got another lab. Right there, so... We got plenty of labs in the area. I'm liking this area. We got like, what, eight shockets in this little uh, lab here? So I don't have to go anywhere to try to complete the challenge, which is nice. I don't want to have to scroll all the way back down here to this other lab that we had found. Predators. Uh, was that me hitting a moose? <laughs> it sounded like it. Sort of. Alright, small vehicles. Look at that. Computer world, computer science, and under the hood, all sitting right there in that little house. Man, would that have been nice to find early. Alright, so... housing... Then straight down this road is where the uh, bank is gonna be. We're gonna try probably a night time infiltration again. I think that's the safest. Radio tower is not useful, and we just barely couldn't see that. Am I? I think I'm getting the credit for the telescope being near me in the vehicle here. I don't actually have the telescope in my inventory. All right, let's uh, stop for a second. It's sitting right here. I'll put it in my inventory, and we'll see if uh, there's any noticeable difference. Uh. It's not sure that that's really showing me. Anybody know the answer to that question? I've never actually tested it. If you have the telescope sitting in the vehicle next to you, in range, does it still count? I mean, it's it acts like a tool, I assume, and gives the tool property. Just like your normal tools do when they're nearby. So I'm assuming that's the case, and I wouldn't have to actually have it in my inventory while I'm driving around. Hey there, Chaos Volt! A uh, big old fishing pond. Well, that's not useful. So, lab and a fishing pond. Let's scroll back south. We'll check this endpoint. Actually, let's just drive right around this town. Doing some off-road driving. Hello, minefield. Uh, trying to find helicopters. There were tons of them early, and now I just can't seem to find many. Nothing but a dollar store. Um, nice easy water supply to resupply my clean water tanks, but easy enough to do elsewhere. Modern Rifleman, some solder. Hmm. 
Hmm, <laughs> rotten pickles. Alright, whole lot of nothing there. And what is that? Public Works. Alright, Public Works usually has lots of shock zombies. Maybe we can get some more CBMs or plutonium at least. Shock and Technicians of Public Works, if I remember right. There they are. Shock zombie, a bunch of regular zombies. The good stuff's gonna be in that fence. Yep, yeah, there's the brute. <laughs> Alright, so up to the fence and just start popping things they're gonna come through the fence pretty quick yep here they come what is that one brute so far hey there's a master all right let's keep things moving and stop right here for a moment aim turrets browning goodbye you And we missed on that one. I don't want to blow a bunch of ammo on these little ones. I just wanted to take the shocks out. The brute's really all I care about. Alright, so we got an acid and the shock. Come on, brute. There you go. Oh, I, did I actually kill the uh, smoke zombie? No, I didn't kill the smoke zombie. I hit something, though. Oh, decayed zombie got in the way. That's funny. I don't think I'm going to have much luck hitting that shocker brute in the smoke. That's not an ideal situation there. Hey there. Is that NK? Enkowlaf? <laughs> I'm not sure how you pronounce that. But thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Oh, got another brute just north of me. All right, well, this will work out. That one I can definitely hit. All right, what else we got in there? Pretty much everything I care about has been killed. These guys I may just lead away. Come on, zombies. Nothing else coming. Mm. Maybe I'll just kill them all. Stop driving. Multiple smokers. Alright, let's throw our survivor mask on. Um, we've got the blade out. Let's go ahead and turn on the CQB. We got full power. So we'll go CQB, bionic combatives. Um, sure, let's electroshock. I won't need those. Alright, I think we're good to go. Everybody get away from my vehicle, though. Oops, don't stand on the tall grass. Who else? Oops, antler horror behind me. <laughs> Stay away from my vehicle horror. Power 693. Hey there, Dentine. Thanks much for the Twitch subscription. Appreciate it. Okay, everything's dead. I am not going to bother smashing everything. No point. I right, don't care about any of this. 
Let's turn this off, turn that off. Let's go get the good stuff. Okay, Shocker Brute. Infrared vision and standard power storage. And I don't care about the infrared vision. Masters down there. Alarm system and a burnt out. Hey, zombie master. Alright, zombies. Now you're starting to bother me. Come on, now the wildlife's coming after me. <sighs> Woo! Hey, hey! Woo! Get out of my damn vehicle. Look at that crowd up to the northeast. So close to getting the all the butchering done before the uh, horde showed up. <laughs> These things must have come down towards me because of the gunfire from the city. They didn't. They were too far away to make the entire distance. But uh, now they're close enough. Oh yeah, big old horde coming in on me. Uh, that's enough to make me even me worried at this point. Stamina is going to be the issue. Too many things swarm in on me and I can still get killed. Although this crowd shouldn't be too much of a problem so far. No specials at all. Well, I need to keep training up my uh, cutting skill and my dodge and stuff, so I'm not opposed to fighting. I just want to get them in a steady stream. <laughs> not the entire group all at once. So, let's turn this back on again. I'll go without the electroshock. We'll see how quick we can kill these as they come at me. If I see the group, because the big part of group here isn't actively coming at me. I got this part streaming towards me and this. I can take all of that no problem, and then we'll pick that apart. So, I don't anticipate any problems. They're being nice and giving me a couple of moments of rest in between each one. <laughs> Stamina is just barely holding up. Power is doing fine. Like I said, no problem. Um... These are the only other two that are coming towards me. The rest of the pack pulled back to the east even a little bit further. Alright. Anything I care about? Electric lantern. <laughs> Toolbox number eight or so. Another spray can. Now spray cans are dropping all over the place now that I'm on been on the lookout for them. Don't care about any of the clothes. Um Grab the dog harness. 
And I think that's it. Again, I'd rather not spend a bunch of time pulping things if I don't have to. I just gotta keep an eye on my vehicle if I see anything moving towards it. <laughs> I gotta run back up there. I really don't want to go through the uh, whole process of uh, repairing that thing again. All right, it's the magically appearing zombies that are always pissing me off. Every time I try to dissect, I mean, there's nothing nearby. I go to dissect, all of a sudden something's in my face. Over and over and over again. Uh, power storage. Alright. Is that it? Really? I think I'm missing... Aren't I missing one brute? Firefighter, master, top spitter... Pretty sure I didn't get enough to... Whoops, there's part of my problem. Still got the survivor mask on. Alright, let's, uh, let's have some pemmican. Whoa, zeroed out my power. Hate it when I do that. <laughs> I always I keep forgetting I've got these things on that cost points per tick or per turn, and then I go to butcher, which takes a long time, and then it ends up zeroing out my power. Um... Actually, let's turn the furnace on. What can I throw into the furnace? All sorts of fun stuff. Electromagnetic CBM 227. Sure, heat that electromagnetic CBM. What else? Not much. Not gonna eat the power storage. Alright, that gives me some power. But yeah, I think I I, I could have swore I killed two brutes, but I guess I got them both. One was up north near the vehicle, and then one down here. Hmm. Alright, anything in here I care about? I don't think there will be. No. And I don't really care about what's in the rest of the building. Looks like a lot of vehicles down there, though. Oh. What do we got down here? Alright, nah, don't care about those things. And he still followed me. as I was hoping to get. Keep moving. Oh yeah, I turn stuff off. Turn us off, interchange off. Nothing interesting in that group. Well, 4 p.m. Let's go up north and check that lab. We'll, we'll pop it open. Another body site. I don't want body sites. I want helicopter sites. Like guards, rail sites, and a bunch of clothing. No thanks. Either Mr. Hulk. Oh, 
Yeah, like I said, we're gonna go up north. We'll pop the uh, door in the lab. Take a quick look. I really don't want to go into another lab right now, though. I do have some... Oh, I still have lots of pemmican. Alright. Forgot. I looked for meat earlier. Pemmican doesn't have that tag. <laughs> what do we got? It's at least one lit up room. Turret room? Oh, yay, we got lights. Not that it's super important at this point. I think I've got just about all my reading done for this series. <laughs> And it's a very, very, very icy lab. <laughs> uh, this is a freezing ice lab. Minus 60 on all my body parts. And if I go back upstairs, I am... Yeah, 60 degree drop for one level. So, my most normal labs seem to drop 30 degrees. But every once in a while I run in one of these and it drops 60 degrees. So... That is a really cold lab. We're not going in there. Uh, I just gotta decide. I think I might sleep right now. If we sleep now, six hours, maybe even eight hours, um, we'll wake up around midnight. Then we can just rollerblade down and check out the uh, the bank. And I don't think there's anything else I care about near the bank. Antique store? I might go poke my nose into the antique store. If we do successfully, and the pawn shop, if we do successfully kill the uh, Shoggoth, then I'm gonna try to finish some of the other end-end type game content. The Strange Temple, uh, I don't know if I'll go into the Hazardous Waste Sarcophagus, but uh, you gotta do a quest chain for that, unless you go through the floor, but uh, we'll see. But yeah, let's, let's just go ahead and sleep right here for now. Uh, let's throw our blindfold on, and let's sleep. Six hours would be just about 11 o'clock. Let's do seven hours. All right, so we woke up... Whoa, we woke up at almost 3 a.m. <laughs> so much for the... Uh, Stupid thing. Get up feeling good. 3 a.m. 3 a.m.'s not good, because 3 a.m. means I'm gonna have to, uh... Uh, it'll be daylight before I get all those bank things done. So that's not good. Hey there, Mike McStabby. Thanks much for the Twitch subscription. Appreciate it. So yeah, that's not cool. Uh I love it when I'm in perfect health, good hidden health stat, and yet I still oversleep by several alarms, or several. I woke up before my alarm? No, I didn't. <laughs> I told it to uh, sleep seven hours. It was four, p almost 5 p.m. That should have woke me up at midnight. It's now almost 3 a.m. What is this? I, I don't trust that in that there. That's wrong. You woke up before your alarm. I don't care what that message said. It was not even 5 p.m., I said to sleep seven hours, <laughs> unless I really, really screwed something up. <laughs> All right, however. <laughs> Let's have some more old pemmican. Oh no, my other fruit is going old. And the tallow as well. That means... All right, let's just have a raspberry. Well, hmm, what am I going to do? I don't have the uh, internal climate control CBM installed yet. I do have things like thermal underwear and all that good stuff, but uh, or thermal suit. I really don't want to deal with that though. I also don't want to shoot my way into town. 
shooting my way in, I'm not too, well, what, what, I could get there about 3.30, 4.30, 5.30, It'd be pretty close. Let's try it, what the hell? What could possibly go wrong? All right, so if we're heading down there, I've got plenty of volume. All I really care about, I can't think of much else other than maybe a high-end CBM and a uh, power armor helmet. Nothing else super bulky I'll be pulling out of there, so I think we'll be okay with that. Uh, we'll switch to the rollerblades. Got the stethoscope with me. Yeah. All right, vehicle's all closed up. Switch back to our roller blades. And we got a nice clear night, so I got pretty good vision. Swimmer zombie, scary. We're gonna try to test out that olfactory CBM, see how much that helps me on one of these town raids. All right, so 3 a.m. We've got a little ways to go. I'm not gonna turn it on until we get a little, until I start getting a crowd near me, I think. Uh, right now, that sees to the... F Whoa! Hey there, fellow predator! <laughs> Welcome to the party! Uh, we're about to go bleed. Hmm. Let's, let's turn the shock suit on. And let's see QBM. Yep. As always. Good old torso bleed. <laughs> you do get butchered, you piece of crap. Alright, what I was going to test was my night vision versus that. Uh, that goes out quite a bit further. Alright, you guys get the green screen thing for a little while. The advantage in sight range is just too good to pass up. Okay, soldier, tough zombie, and we just got... Well, let's go ahead and throw... whoops, turn that off. Turn that off. And let's turn on this olfactory mask. It's supposed to hide our scent. That way, hopefully, nothing follows me into the bank, which is right here. And of course, there's a bunch of stuff right in the front. I don't want to set the alarm off if I can help it, but the location those guys are in is going to make this really annoying. <laughs> Gas zombies just sitting right there at the front door with those other zombies. Um, so, let's go find... We've already torn apart that vehicle pretty well. I want to get... Actually, maybe I'll just light this on fire. That'd probably be a better idea. Yeah, let's, let's just light this place up. Sure, I'll take some sugar. What else you got? Nah, I don't care about anything else. Alright, so we got the fire going. Let's get out of that area. When did I get poisoned? <laughs> Apparently, I can't see the poison clouds with the night vision on. Uh now I got a grabber zombie sitting right there. So let's oops, make sure we go back to ninjutsu for silent kills. Ah, oh, damn it. Stupid zombie. I was so close. <laughs> let's see how many zombies come visit. I'm hoping the fire keeps their attention. Alright, nobody else come in here immediately. Still got the old factory going. Uh, all right. I'll have an escape route out the back too, because there's a there are windows right up there that'll lead to the sidewalk as well. So should I need it, I've got a couple of routes. All right, let's see. Bypass, open vault. Anything on the shelf? A goo canister. Uh, 
sure, I guess. All right, let's see how much. Actually, I'd like. Now yeah, it'll wear off while I crack the safe. Three forty-five. Four fifteen. Something smashing their way in, or is that the uh, the fire across the street? Probably. Really getting started. <laughs> 523, super alloy plating again. Come on, game. This will be bank number four where we haven't gotten anything I really have any use for. If this next one. And another hologram cloak. Yeah. All right. Well, we successfully robbed the bank. It's 6 a.m. So it's probably light outside. Don't need that anymore. Uh, don't need that anymore. Yeah, it's going to be a fun trip back out again. I'm not going to get to check out the other... Uh, buildings in here probably excuse me all right don't care about the alarm decisions decisions do I go for a daytime stroll through the city we're gonna at least see if we can check out the antique store smoke zombies gonna be pesky Surprisingly clear beyond that. Alright, let's try to make a loop-de-loop -loop here in this antique store. What you got? So far, nothing. Nothing in the display cases. Alright, a whole bunch of nothing. Just got out ahead of the smoke. Okay, antique store. Oh, pawn shop's right next to the antique store. Yeah. Lawn dart tent and a jacket. They usually have guns. More Adderall, that's what I need. And I have no idea what generally is in the uh, safes for pawn shops, but I doubt it's something I care about. All right, well, pawn shop's done, antique store's done. What was left? Another pawn shop down the road, but I'm not gonna go all the way down there to try to get to that thing. Outdoorsman stores, no idea what's in an outdoorsman store. All right, we're done. We're just gonna skate back out of here. Nothing else worth risking my time for. Actually, the other thing I guess that it's good to do this for is for vehicles trying to find another street sweeper. Much easier to spot them during the daytime. Oops, got a little too close to the corrosive. <laughs> Alright, well, we're just going to skate our way back out of here. I'm not seeing what I was looking for. I'm going to run mode for a moment just to break the contact. All right, we're out. <laughs> What's chasing me? Not a good plan, silly thing. Oops. Okay, another holographic cloak. Two canister. Ah, uh, because that falls into the tool category. Actually, before we get going, let's do another round of repairs. No damage parts? Oh crap. <laughs> Look at all these damage parts. What are you talking about?
All the flowers I run over, taking their toll. All right, now it's fixed. All right, power's maxed out. CBMs are in good condition. Well, now we have to make some more decisions. A little bit longer range decisions. Uh, I've still got that one bank in that town to the south. A wound socket right there. Guess that's where we're gonna head. Come on, helicopters. Coming up on <laughs> the town of Chittenden, it comprises a cabin. <laughs> it is the cabin of Chittenden. All right, a one building town. And it's got how many zombies nearby? With the world settings I've got. <laughs> well, everybody wave goodbye to Chittenden. Oh no, my favorite answer back. Yep, there's the anthill. That's gonna make this a little uh, tougher. That's not good. Hmm. I'd be all sorts of nervous about trying to get into the bank if there's a bunch of acid ants nearby. Hate those things. I'll do this. I want to know what's right here. But again, proximity to those ants is really, really... And of course they find a helicopter and it's a little tiny one. It's just a pilot. Not one of the big ones with a bunch of uh, bio operators, unfortunately. Oh, uh, what the heck? I can see the end of the road, but there's nothing showing. <laughs> I need to turn around. Actually, I'm not going to turn around. I'll just follow this road around and then back up. Hello, facility. Well, wow, stupid apartment tower. Well, that explains that. Not useful. Hey, uh, it's the Beagle Mini Tank UGV. What the hell? And a flaming eye. <laughs> wow, this is not good. Um, yeah. Hey there, Towner Raymond. You got some pretty high-end stuff here. A Beagle Mini Tank UGV. There's also a, it must be a portal nearby. We've got a Krek, Flaming Eye, Graken. All right, where is all this stuff? I know the Beagle's right there, right on the other side of the uh, thing, but I want to know where these are. They're down there. I do not want to get uh, telesickness or fungal infection from the stupid flaming eye. Um, yeah, all right. I've never seen a Beagle mini tank UGV. The Northrop Beagle is a refrigerator-sized urban warfare UGV, sporting an anti-tank missile launcher, 40 millimeter grenade launcher, and numerous anti-infantry weapons. It's designed for high-risk urban fighting. Well, I hope it has less range than what I'm at currently. 
Because, <laughs> man, that would suck. Uh, can I go around that thing safely? Hmm. Um, is that just the new name for a tank drone? <laughs> tank drones I'm used to. Mini big or Beagle Mini Tank UGV. I've never seen that name before. So I don't know if it's somewhat different or if it's just the same thing as a tank drone. It's been fighting a little bit. It might be out of some types of ammo, but I can't even remotely take the chance. And I can't go south around it. I'm going to have to wrap all the way back around the other direction. Because I'm not going to go near the uh, portal and the uh, flaming eye either. <laughs> there's absolutely no reason for me to fight that thing <laughs> so no as excited as you guys may be I am going to try to turn around before that thing targets my vehicle uh, from the west you hear kaboom times 14 <laughs> uh, hopefully he's shooting at the dog smoke is that actually coming out of the military cargo truck a lot of soldier body sights here. Might have good stuff, but i just not even going to come close to risking my mobility in my vehicle. Or whatever might be there. No, I'm not going to just drive by very fast. We're going to leave. <laughs> going south around it was my main idea, but... Uh, the south, we've got a portal site with multiple eyes. Multiple flaming eyes down there. <laughs> be a man no thanks yep tank is fighting the uh fighting the dog <laughs> we are out of here that is not the point of this uh this particular playthrough not tangling with things like that that one it'll take me all of two minutes and one liter of gas to avoid it entirely we are performing the maneuver known as the brave brave sir robin Alright, let's go tangle with my favorite ants instead. I've actually died more to ants than I have to tank drones. Which I find amusing. <laughs> I've decided to purposely go back up into the ant area. Uh, I should have swung north further around these things. I've already explored everything except for that point there, which I may not be able to get to. Because it may be solid forest blocking me from getting over there. Alright, let's swing this thing north. Keep avoiding all these stupid ants. Do to do to do. Hey there, stupid ants. I hate you. Hate you lots. Alright, so how many ants are we gonna have near the town? Now are they gonna help me out like they did in one of the other towns? That's always interesting when you find one of those dug up roadbed areas. Plenty of rocks and rebar. <laughs> All right, so boxing gym and then the bank. So there's the boxing gym. I'm just out of sight of the bank. There are ants in the area. I guess we'll... Hey, shocker brute. I guess I could kill the shocker brute. Not wearing my gas mask at the moment. Thank you, shocker brute. Good old turning diagonally while in range of a shocker brute, getting shot through the diagonal. Just debating whether I shoot him. <laughs> uh, we might have an opening on the far side there. Not much in this town. Hey there, Dragon Man. Can we at least shoot something harmless with the law? No, no we cannot. Uh, actually, I got launchers three. I might be willing to fire off a launcher at some, or a law at something. I, 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 every time people have asked me in the past, they want me to throw grenades, they want me to use launchers, but I've had like throwing of zero and launchers of zero. <laughs> and we all know what happens when I try something like that. It just lands right at my feet and goes kaboom. 
All right, minefield with a Humvee parked in it. Not as many ants over on this side of town. And now there's a few. Is there a fast regen mutation? Uh, yeah. I think the troglodyte, troglobite line has a some kind of a regen. I don't know if it's fast. But I think that's the line that has some kind of a regenerative healing. Nope, and the forest did cut me off. So, I'd have to drive right through the town to try to get to that end, by end point over there. So, let's just try to figure out if we're going to do anything with this. Pneumatic assault rifle? Um, I always prefer the uh, pneumatic bolt driver myself. Love the pneumatic bolt driver. Less shots, but when you're sneaking around at night, it's completely silent and uh, you can kill things. If you have decent uh, night vision, you can kill things in the dark pretty effectively without anything else knowing that it's happening. So I don't mind the eight shot capacity nearly as much because I'm not killing large amounts usually. I haven't used the assault rifle. I've just compared it with the bolt gun and pretty much stuck with the bolt gun. It just seemed to work better for the way I was dealing with things generally. Um, so what to do, what to do. The presence of these ants is just making me nervous. Well, the minefield's going to be drawing things from a wall a ways away. thinking I might park up here, maybe even up here, and then wait for night again, walk down on my regular boots, then throw on the uh, rollerblades as soon as I hit the pavement, and then try to scoot down and get into it. I think with the uh, old factory uh, mask, I'll be able to avoid the ants pretty effectively, and I can close the vault doors behind me to keep them from crowding in and <laughs> aciding me to death while I'm trying to pick a safe. Um, but it still just makes me nervous. Because if I open the vault door to get it out again, actually I could go through the wall if I had to. That would probably be better. Hmm. We'll see. So, let's... Let's lead this guy north. 